You almost didn't even get a video today, but this is too important to skip. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, how you doing this morning? I am running some campaign, and probably you are too, for this Clover Five Paths event, which is not really Five Paths, but that's beside the point. Champion training is one of the most important parts of the game. Leveling up champions is the main way you progress your account, and this hack is the easiest way to get your six-star champions. I have been the biggest proponent of this strategy. I've been sharing it on other people's YouTube channels. I did a collab with YST on his channel about it. I did a collab with Nub on his channel about it. If I have an opportunity, I'll do it with other people on their channels as well, because to me, this is the number one Thing that everyone needs to know about. So, in order to help everybody know about this strategy, there are some things that you can do to help as well. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, comment in the comment section what you like about this strategy. And if you use this strategy already, comment down below so that other people know how powerful this is, okay? And in addition to that, I am going to let you know about a giveaway in the comment section of this video at towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. I'm going to try to keep it on the shorter side, but, uh, you know, I'm a little long winded at some point. OK, so I <laughs> was watching anime this morning with my wife. We're watching SAO The Underworld uh, season and uh, did not want to stop watching that. So if you enjoy that, let me know that as well. And I'm going to need a new anime pretty soon to follow up after that because we're almost finished with it. So if you have recommendations, I'd love to hear those as well. Now on to the video here. Let me go ahead and stop this so that we can jump into this video. Okay. Now I've already made a lot of progress on these and, uh, you know, when you get end game leveling three champions up to 60 at the same time can be a nice strategy. Although the majority of the time you're going to level up your champions once they're six star in the Minotaur. Okay. Most boring content in the game, in my opinion. However, leveling up in Minotaur does two things obviously, getting masteries and levels. But the most powerful thing that you can do with your account is utilizing the Guardian Ring and specifically the Sparring Pit, okay? Now, when most of you log into your account, this is probably what your Sparring Pit looks like if it's upgraded at all. Okay, most of you are sitting with only your original slot in the sparring pit and some unimportant champion sitting in there gaining levels whenever they get them, okay? Some of you have unlocked all of the spots, and that's a great start, okay? However, we are not, as a community, utilizing the sparring pit to its fullest extent. So what I have done is I have laid out and detailed the process of the sparring pit so that you can maximize your account, okay? So let's jump right into that. One free six star every week. Here are the five steps, okay? Step one is the sparring pit. Use 1,200 gems to unlock all of the spots in the sparring pit. If we take a look here, you can see that the second level, level two, would be 350 each. Do not recommend because you're going to go too quickly and then... It will be difficult to keep up, okay? I can already tell you from utilizing this strategy on my free-to-play, it's hard to keep up. You make so many level 40 champions that will be your five-star chickens that it's hard to keep up with that, okay? So, that is the first step is to unlock all of the spots. It's a one-time fee of 1,200 gems, and it pays itself off in about a hundred days i think it's less than that but if you just look at the 
um, energy to levels ratio from running 12-3 or 12-6 brutal, it's about 100 days. Now, in my opinion, what you're doing by unlocking these 1,200 gems is you are spending about two six stars worth of energy to unlock a free six star every week for the entire rest of your account. And we already do this with the gem mine. Okay, well, Plarium uh, put a pop-up there for... <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. So we already do this with the gem mine. We already know how valuable the gem mine is because it gives you gems every day. That's the same thing with the sparring pit. The sparring pit is going to give you essentially energy every day, free energy by leveling up your champions for free. Okay, now step two is going to be getting five four star champions and level them to level 18 or higher. So that's what I have set up here because that's how I normally run things. So when we scroll down here, Plarium, fix this. They're max level. We can't put them in here. We shouldn't even see them. So I have my five four-star champions, and they're all exactly level 18, coincidentally, and I'm going to go put them all in there. All right, so there's the last one, and now we have our five champions. They're all the same level, and they're all going to level up at the same exact time. So all you need to do is come in and level them all up. So even if you don't want to put chickens in here, if you want to level up champions and do a little bit different uh, version of this strategy, make sure you just keep them all the same level so that they level up at the same time. Then when you log in the game, you just click upgrade on all of those and that's basically going to be the next step. So we have our five four-star champions, level 18. And then we're going to log in at least once a day to level up the food. If you lo log in multiple times per day or you play for a long period of time, this is going to speed up the process. That's why it's going to take a different amount of time for different people. However, if you are playing every day and a lot every day, then this is going to only take you seven days. So... We're going to level up 20 other four-star champions to use as chickens, as well as getting the champion you want up to six-star. Uh, you want them to be level 50, okay? So you have to level that champion up to 50 because we're going to rank them up. And then we need the other chickens to be able to level the four-star champions up. By utilizing the sparring pit, we're taking the most amount of energy out of the equation and letting the sparring pit do that then step five is to just go click on those upgrades every day and then after seven to ten days then you will have your five star food and able to rank up your champion to six stars okay and this is the number one thing that is going to help progress your account okay this is the number one thing and it is so efficient that you will get six star after six star after six star after six star once you get this method down, all right? Now, I have also put this on my website, okay? Over under the article section, you can see five steps, one free six star every week. It has all of that same information there. There's also a nice infographic PDF if you wanna download that and share it, that would be great. Go send it to your clanmates or send them this video so that they know about this strategy as well. So uh, let me go ahead and flip over to my free-to-play account so that you can see that this is not just for uh, spending players. In fact, it's even more powerful for free-to-play players. All right, we're over on the free-to-play, and you can see here, I did not prep this video for, for my account here for this video. I just have this already set up. This is just my normal course of playing. I do this on every account that I've played on and to great success, okay? You can see in here I have five different epics. At some point, these will be food. Right now, they're going to be faction war champions. But Hexia, for example, 
not a long-term champion. Aranis, not a long-term champion. Um, the the high elf in the middle here. You know, all of these. Maybe the Crimson Elm I'll keep because she's decent. Uh, maybe the Sanguinea I will keep. But probably these will be chickens. The only reason why I don't have like commons or something in there is because I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I just finished a couple days ago and I don't have enough four stars to level them up. So let me show you what it would be like if you are prepping your four stars. So you decide what four star you want to put in the sparring pit. Then you're going to come over here and put three brews as well as three commons and that will put them to level 18. Can you do more than that? Yes, but this is the most efficient way that I have found that speeds up the process and maximizes your free energy in the sparring pit. Now, I don't need to do that today. No, I do because I'm making four stars level them up. Oh, I accidentally put one too many, okay? So she's level 19. That's fine, okay? 19 is fine, 18, anything around that range is totally fine, okay? Now, what we're going to do is then wait our seven days and we will have our four-star chickens ready to go and turn them into five-star chickens. I hope this has been easily explained and I don't want to leave you without telling you about the amazing giveaways. So let's recap, okay? So we want to get our sparring pit unlocked. We want to get our five four-star champions to level 18 or higher. We want to log in and upgrade them every day. And we want to make other chickens so that we can level those 40s up to 5 stars. And that's going to take us about five, five, 7 to 10 days, if I stutter over my words here. And um, we also want to make sure that we prep the champion that we're going to level up. Usually that's like obvious or already taken care of. Now for your uh, rewards for your giveaway... Um, did I not put it in here? Ah, here it is. Okay, so you're going to comment down below whether or not you are going to use this strategy. And as long as you comment below, then you will be entered into this giveaway. I have multiple copies of this to give away. A legendary skill tome, a rank 5 chicken, a 3-day XP boost, 400 energy, and 4 sets of multi-battles. I think I have 4 copies to give away. I'm not exactly sure, but this is thanks to the throwback video that I made a couple days ago. Not very many people saw that. I think YouTube blocked it. So I will link that in the comments below for you to go watch it if you want to see how this YouTube channel got started. It is filled with nostalgia and uh, genuine... Um, Aw, type of feelings. I don't know how to put that into words. It's very wholesome. Maybe that's the best way. So if you would like your chance to win this, in the next couple of days, I am going to pull these winners so that I can get them over to Polarium. So make sure that you comment right away. And don't forget to like and share the video. We want to get this video as big as possible so that everybody can see this strategy in action. This is the number one way that I am leveling up six-star champions on my free-to-play account. You can do it too. So can your friends. So can your clan. Thank you for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. Go unlock your sparring pit and let me know about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.